It's saucy with just the right amount of savory, tart, and sweetness. It is super yum. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Dude is Behind the Camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. This recipe really does bring back all the memories. My grandmother used to make a tomato and beef and then crack a couple of eggs at the end and swirl it all in. So you're gonna love this. Please take a second to click that like button and subscribe to the channel. And we're gonna get started with one onion that I'm just gonna slice up. And I like to slice my onion from top to bottom because I do find that it holds its shape better than if you're cutting it in the rounds. Just using a small thumb size piece of ginger that I'm just gonna slice up. And if you don't wanna slice it up, you can always just bruise it like I normally do. The ginger is really just to infuse flavor. So if you wanted to bruise it up, that'd be fine too. I'm also using six tomatoes and just get tomatoes that are um, the best, or in my case, it was, it also it looked the best and it was the cheapest because I think Roma tomatoes were, I think over $1.50 more than these were on sale. So I chose the ones on the vine. When I cut my tomatoes, I actually like to cut it just off to the side of the stem so that I can just take it off on one side instead of both sides, just a little, tip and I'm going to cut these um, just into eighths. I'm using two stalks of green onion and I'm going to separate the dark green from the white and light green parts. I'm going to just cut these up a little bit and I'm going to add them to the regular onion because I want this part to be more cooked. I also want to get my eggs ready so I have three eggs. I'm just going to crack into a bowl. I'm just gonna lightly beat these. And that's it, ready to cook. Heating up my wok on medium. If you don't have a wok, you can use a Dutch oven because it'll be quite saucy, but you can also use a large frying pan, either or, it will do the trick. Okay, you know that it's hot when there's that wisp of smoke. Adding about a tablespoon of oil. I'm just using vegetable oil. and add our ginger. And our onions. I want to cook the onions until they're softened for so about two minutes. I'm going to push the onions off to the side a little bit if I can. I'm going to add my beef. Adding one more tablespoon of oil. I'll just try to push the beef in on the side. Have about a pound of lean ground beef. I'm just gonna let it sear for a minute before I start moving it around. Another minute on the other side and then I'll start to break it up. You just wanna cook the beef until it's cooked through. I prefer using ground beef for this dish because, well, because both my grandmothers used ground beef. But in the restaurants, when you order tomato and beef, you usually get a uh, flank steak or some other sort of steak, not ground beef. But ground beef is much less expensive these days and I actually prefer it because it's tasty. It absorbs all of the sauce from the tomatoes and it's just, oh, so yummy. Okay, just adding the onions to the beef and then I'm gonna add my tomatoes. Then I'm gonna add my seasoning and sauces. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of kosher salt. A tablespoon of sugar. 
And that's to take away some of the tartness from the tomatoes. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce just gives an added darker color and a little bit of sweetness. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. And ancient Chinese secret, three tablespoons of ketchup. I'm gonna give this a stir. We want the tomatoes to cook a little bit. Depending on how soft you want the tomatoes, you may want to cook them for a longer period of time or a shorter period of time. So I'm going to aim for about three to five minutes just to soften them up a little bit, but still hold its texture. Okay, see you in a bit. I also want to make a cornstarch slurry, so about a tablespoon of cornstarch. And this is just to thicken up the sauce. And about a tablespoon of water. And it has to be cool water, otherwise your cornstarch will not dissolve. Cool or cold water, never hot water. been about four minutes. So let's take a look at what we've got. Oh, see all that sauce? Yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little hole in the middle to add my slurry. to make, see if I can get that gravy to come back into the middle so I can add my egg. Just drizzle it in a little bit. I'm just gonna add all of it and then just stir it in. I'm pretty sure this is what my grandmother used to do. Oh my goodness, so many memories. Right, and that is it. Oh my goodness, look at how much this makes. Not all of this is gonna fit on a plate. Okay, we'll put half, okay? All right, here you go. I'm gonna garnish it with some green onions that I actually sliced up. And look at how curly and pretty they are. To get this effect, all you have to do is slice it up lengthwise and then put it in a bowl of cold water and they just curl up. Are you all ready for? Definitely. The taste. I'm mesmerized by the curly onions. Check that out. I mean, it's like, it's so fancy. It's almost incongruous with the home style food, but hey, thanks for the style flow. No problem. Yeah, this is uh, the smells and the, the texture. Mmm, you know, the uh, on top of the rice is the only way to eat this together. So all in one shot, perfect bite. Mmm, wonderful flavors. Tomato is holding on to its shape and just cooked enough. The egg adds a wonderful creaminess to it. And if you wanted more eggy, add more eggs. And together with the rice, awesome. Just home style comfort food at its best. And in today's economy, this is making your dollars go further. So 
Yeah, you gotta do this. Mmm, so good. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. This recipe is super simple and not very expensive to make, so eat well, save money. It's gonna be in the new cookbook that's coming soon. Make sure you keep an eye out for it. For more homestyle recipes, check it out. I will see you over there. One, two, one, two, one, two, my check, my check. I won't talk that loud though. <laughs>